Hi and welcome back to my next video. This is um, another project that I completed. The paper line that I used is called Tweet Dreams by Heidi Grace and it includes the embellishments as well because all of the embellishments um, coordinate with the paper. The box design is actually called um, a ladies diary box that was demonstrated by Angel Wings 14100 here on YouTube. I'll put her link down in the box at the bottom so that you will have the opportunity to go there and um, view the tutorial yourself. The construction is uh, made of chipboard and it's covered with cardstock and the cardstock is from Stampin' Up! Real Red and it's layered with So Saffron. So the box has a, a magnet closure and I've decorated the flap with the button and the flowers, the embellishments that are a part of the paper. On the top um, I also used some of the stickers that came in the pack and um, a little bird and then some buttons that coordinate. On the back um, I placed the bird houses up on um, foam tape and then there's a, a rub on or a stick on here. And then of course on the bottom um, there's some hearts and again all of these embellishments coordinate with the paper. The box opens, it flips up on the top and then as you open it up it is a trifold. Okay. So this is the first flap here. Um, this page flips open and has room for pictures and I have um, embellished it with epoxy stickers, stickers and uh, more buttons that came with the paper pack. This is a, a half um, fold or a half box and there is inside of this half box um, another album. In addition to the album I have a couple of um, photo mats and these are cutouts that came that coordinate with the paper. I left them plain for pictures. This photo album that I placed inside of it is also by Angel Wings 14100 here on YouTube and it's called Mini Page Insert and she has a tutorial on her blog for this as well. Um, this one, the cardstock is the So Saffron and then I layered um, Lucky Limeade uh, that I border punched. I do have a couple of corners that were just from Michaels, uh, no particular brand, probably Recollections. And then this, um, let me move this out of the way. This is a, a mini album unto itself and it flips open like so. And it has a page here that I've placed a pocket on and cut out some, some shapes for journaling and pictures. And then this side flips open. There's room for pictures and it flips open so that you can put additional pictures. Um, this is the Stampin' Up! Tab Punch, one of the buttons that came with the paper line. And then it folds open. And there's a page here. Um, this is a border die that comes from Creative Memories. It's the fence. And then I have a couple more uh, punches that I've punched out. And I've coated them with multi mat to make them sturdy and pliable so that they don't tear or, or um, get wrinkled. And then this is just a little photo mat that I made that I decorated with the paper. slips there. Then this side is a um, gate fold. So I have a border punch here, stampin' up. Opens up for pictures. Closes with a magnet and then it flips down. These are my stampin' up punch, bird cage, cage punch. Um, this is the reverse of one of the die cuts. It's a Spellbinders die cut. And then I put um, 
cellophane over it so that you could slip a picture inside. And it's open. And then this side here, I made a small pocket with the border die and added some, again, some tags that I've covered with multi-mat. And then inside this um, is a pocket page and the photo mat comes out. And I just cut around it with a square punch to make an opening to pull it out. And then that page flips open. And here's the back side of that, that flap. And then the inside of that, these two flaps for more pictures. So this folds down, this folds up, and then this folds over. And then the, there is a back side that is covered with paper and some of the stickers and the binding. And again, the tutorial for this uh, mini page insert is for, from Angel Wings 14100, and she has a tutorial on her blog. Okay. So that fits in this half pocket. Fit in there kind of nicely. I don't think that they were paired together, but I put them together. And then the third side of the box is um, held together with ribbon. This is Stampin' Up! Ribbon, So Saffron. And this is um, a gatefold page. This is a part of the embellishments out of the pack. Um, there is a square scallop punch from Stampin' Up! that I placed under it. It has a magnet and it opens up and it has places for uh, photos. And I have a border die here. And then there's another half pocket here. I have some epoxy stickers. And I have two more photo albums and um, a photo mat. Again, the photo mat is a part of the paper, comes with as a part of the paper pack embellishments. And I've uh, stamped it. I had a, a journal stamp. The ribbon is real red from Stampin' Up. And then some of the stickers and um, epoxy stickers and stickers from the paper line. I just placed it inside there. I'll do this small one. Um, I just put this together just because I had some scraps that I wanted to use up. So it looks like a little billfold. Let me put this out of the way so it's not distracting. So this one looks like a little billfold. It has a little flap with a magnet, um, a border die with a um, embossing folder from Stampin' Up. It's the So Saffron cardstock. And it just opens up when I have some stickers. And then it's just a fold out for photos. And I've layered the paper and added stickers. And then I did reinforce the, the binding with just a piece of um, chipboard. It just makes it sturdier. And then this is the back. These are cute stickers. And a, another embossing folder from Stampin' Up. And then the other photo album, I will have to place the YouTuber's name at the bottom um, it was several pieces of paper that were adhered together and then cut strategically so that it folds in many, many different ways. Again, it's the same paper. The ribbon is from Stampin' Up! and it is Pool Party. And those, all, those colors all worked really well with the paper. Um, a die cut, one of the buttons from the paper line. So. This is also pretty clever. It has a magnet and it opens up and it, it's a place to put photos and or journal. Opens up again. So you have a trifold, I'm sorry, a, a gatefold. I placed a pocket on this side with the die cuts and then put a little um, tag in here. In the center, because the papers were put together, there is a pocket here. 
and this is Pool Party, uh, Stampin' Up's Pool Party. This slips back in there. So this closes back and then it flips up. On the top side, um, this is a um, die cut from Stampin' Up, the windows, and um, this is a cute sticker that came with the papers. And then the bottom page here has uh, another die cut. This is the Spellbinders. And then um, a border punch from Creative Memories. And then this opens up. On the back side of this, there's a pocket. And I have some die cuts. So there's this side to put pictures on, and then it opens up again, just like the top side did, into uh, a gatefold. I have a pocket with some tags. And then again, there's another spot here for a picture, a picture insert. I don't have a paper or um, a platform to put it on, but you can slip your picture down under there and put a, a pull on it. So this folds back up and then it will fold down. So now you have three sections. And the bottom section here has a, a little uh, die cut here to hold pictures and things with, to put up inside of it. And I made some little die cuts, the itty bitty ones. In the center, um, this has a photo frame that slides out that I've decorated. Slides into the center. Uh, this is a, a die cut, um, border cut from Stampin' Up. Then this will fold back and then there's one more spot on the back and it opens with a magnet and a place to put pictures. And um, then this one has just a little tag that slides out here. And that closes up just like that. It's really cute. So that also fit inside of this fairly nicely. So I wanted it to have a lot of spaces for photos. And it closes with a magnet, and then this just ties up for decoration. So I will put the links to the individuals whose tutorials I looked at to make these boxes to go together. And it folds together. Close this up just like that. Um, so that you'll have the opportunity to um, give it a try. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. I do like the paper line. Um, Heidi Grace is um, a very fun uh, type of a, a paper line that I like to, to use occasionally. So I hope you'll give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be back again soon. Thank you.